Meanwhile, passengers in the north of England and in Scotland have faced a day of travel disruption as flooding and high winds forced the closure of rail services. Hundreds of passengers on five trains were trapped between Lockerbie and Carlisle as rising floodwaters submerged the tracks. Further south, falling trees and debris have caused major delays and cancellations, as Mark Mallet now reports. It may look like a river cruise, but this is in fact the view some train passengers had as flooded tracks forced train operators to cancel services between Cumbria and Scotland as the region was battered by strong winds and heavy rain. Network Rail Scotland tweeted images of the railway lines about a foot underwater and said five trains had been trapped between Lockerbie and Carlisle. Passengers on what should have been a three-hour journey from Manchester to Edinburgh spent more than seven hours on board their train. Network Rail Scotland says water levels have now dropped enough to allow trains to run again. In Carlisle City, heavy rain led to flooding, with local businesses affected. Heavy rain and thunderstorms across northern England and Scotland are expected to continue into the evening. Parts of London have been hit by heavy showers and strong winds. These pictures were filmed inside Luton Airport last night, where water can be seen falling from the ceiling. So how long is this rain going to last? Amanda Houston has the details for us. Meanwhile, travellers today were hit by further disruption, this time because of bad weather after heavy rain and thunderstorms across large parts of the UK affected travellers. There's been flooding in Yorkshire as well as Scotland, which saw the temporary closure of the West Coast Main Line. For a time, passengers on five trains were trapped. High winds in Wales and southern England have toppled trees, causing damage to property and vehicles.